Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center and today we're talking about the Janome Skyline S6. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the settings. So settings right here, this little button, you just push that and you can get into the various different settings. The way you move through the different settings is you push the mode button and it gets you into the different things like that. To get out of settings, you just push that again. Okay, so let's start with the first one, buzzer or the beep, on or off, you can turn that off. And what that means is now when you push a button, it doesn't give you that little beep. Okay, let's get back into settings because I like having that on. Now let's go to the next one. And that is needle position. So when the machine rolls to a stop when you're done sewing, right now it's set so that the needle will remain in the down position. I kind of like that for my quilting projects, but sometimes you want to have it in the up position, in which case you would just press that. Let's go on to the next thing. This is the startup speed. Now that means when you start sewing, you put your foot down on the pedal, or if you're using the start stop key, uh, it will slowly start up. If you have it down into the, the one, it'll slowly start up. I kind of like that if I'm gonna be using my start stop key, because then I can push the stop key quickly before it gets all the way up to speed if I need to. But on the other hand, maybe I wanted to have it just really going fast. I don't want to waste any time. You can put that right up to three if you want. Let's go on to the next one. Now this is touch screen calibration. What this is for is the, your touch pad here. If it seems like, say for instance, you're trying to get five, but you have to push it clear down here in order to get five to work, that means it's a little bit out of calibration. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to walk you through how to do this. First of all, Get out your book, your instruction book, and go to page 30. On page 30, it gives you the instructions here, but I'm gonna walk you through it. So here we are, right there. The first thing it says to do is push this one right here. Now, P1 means point one. So look on this chart here where it says point one, that's right down there, P1 would be right here. And then now it says P2, so look on the chart where it says P2, that's going to be right here. P3, right up here. P4, right here. And P5 is right in the middle of the turnover key. Now, it's gone back to where it started at the beginning. That means the touch screen calibration is done. So this is a way that you can kind of tune up your screen if, or your uh, touchpad if it, if it needs a little bit of uh, help. Let's go on to the next thing. Now this means clear, what, if you say yes to that, that that would clear everything back to default. So look on page 31, press this right here, and it gives you a yes or no. So if I wanted to put everything back to default, let's say um, I changed a few things in here, I wanted to put it back to default, you just push the yes. That long beep means it's going through the clearing process of putting everything back to factory defaults. So that's the settings, and of course to get out of settings, there we go, like that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful, and if it has, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area down below. So we have lots of other videos that you can watch here on our YouTube channel, and um, there are also other videos on the Skyline S6. Thanks for watching. Bye.